So you need to record your screen on Windows, but what's the fastest and easiest way to do it without sacrificing quality? In this video, I'm gonna cut through the noise and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step the most powerful free tool that you can use right now. And then for those of you that are ready to level up even further, I'll show you my favorite screen recording tool, the one that I'm using to record this video and actually all of our YouTube content right now. And it's also got a lot of cool AI functionality built in too. Okay, so the awesome free tool that is already built into Windows is called ClipChamp. It's actually something that Microsoft bought out only a few years ago. And not only is it screen recording software, it's also video editing software. So this is a great replacement to what used to be Windows Movie Maker. Or you could think of this like iMovie on Mac, but on steroids and on Windows. So you can see it's got stuff like AI subtitles, text to speech, AI noise suppression, and even silence removal built in too. So you can actually run this in your web browser, but given that you're on Windows, it's probably already installed there for you. And I find the experience is much better on the desktop version than on the website. So when you first open it up, you can see you've got a few options to create different types of videos. So create a video from scratch. There's an option here to record yourself, record your screen. Obviously this is the one we're gonna do here, but you can also see all your previous projects and edits and stuff down here too. We're gonna to choose record yourself. And then we get to choose what is it that we want to record? Is it the screen and your camera, your webcam or whatever you've got connected to your computer? Just your camera, just your screen, just your audio. But the cool part about this is that these recordings aren't just recording one flat finished video. Obviously you can get that, but everything is recorded separately, meaning that you can adjust what it looks like, move things around, scale things up and down after the recording happens. So in this case, I'm gonna choose screen and camera. It's then going to prompt us to pick our camera. I'm gonna pick my webcam here for this one. We can then pick our microphone. And then there's this cool speaker coach that's built in, which will give you feedback on your presenting style as well, your energy levels, your pacing, how many mistakes you're making, and suggestions to help you become a better speaker. It's actually pretty cool. But then we've got at the top here, when you're ready to roll, number one, check that there's nothing in your teeth. Solid tip. Hit the big red button, choose a screen, and then we can edit our layout and what it all looks like afterwards. So I'm gonna hit here. Now this recording here on the free version, it is limited to 30 minutes, but there is a paid version which unlocks that further, or you could just piece together multiple 30 minute recordings. I'm gonna hit record. We then get to choose a specific window or app that we'd like to screen record, or we can pick our entire screen. And here there is an option for you to record your system audio as well. So if you're playing games or trying to record, say a YouTube video or something like that, where you need the playback from the computer in your recording, then you can toggle that on and off from here. I'm just gonna choose this window here for now. So it's our web browser and the recording has started. So we can see that we can stop the recording down the bottom here as we need to. But if we go back to our web browser here and we do our screen recording, maybe we click on some things up here. Let's click on the pricing table, which we'll come back to very soon. And let's come back to ClipChamp. Let's stop this recording. It's then going to play this back as a preview for us. We can retake the recording. So if we made a mistake, we don't have to stop it and go and start a whole new one. We can just hit retake recording here. When we're happy with it, we hit save and edit. And that's gonna take us over to the edit interface. We can just save the video as it is with me down the bottom corner here, our screen recording. But if you wanna get more creative, you wanna customize this up, then again, all of these are separate video layers. We can see down in the bottom timeline here. I could scale it up if I wanted to. Maybe we crop it down So take the sides off. Let's get it looking the way that we would like. Hit the tick to apply that. Maybe this background here, we'll scale that up a bit so that it fits the whole screen. So all of that stuff, really, really straightforward. But we've also got the ability to edit down here as well. If there's a section we want to trim out, then we have the ability to either edit as a grouped clip, so we're making changes to the entire video, or we can just make changes to one of them. So let's just say for the start of our recording here, we want to be full screen, full camera, and then we'll switch over to the screen recording. We just come across to mark a cut in our timeline where we need it gonna cut it at that point. And then we can just scale this up so that it fits the entire screen. We'll probably have to undo this cropping here and apply that again. Let's choose fit. Now it's full screen me at the start of the video. And then as we play through and it gets to this point, then I'm down in the bottom corner here. So really, really powerful. But you also have the ability in here to add closed captions or subtitles to the video. We can adjust all of our volume levels. We can add transitions, fade ins, fade outs. 
we can apply filters like Instagram filters, different looks to our cameras and to our screen recordings in here. And if we come over to the other side here, there's other things like the ability to add in text. There's lots of different preset text and title looks and layouts and things that you can apply on here. We've got transitions. We can set up stuff for our brand in here. So if we want to put in things like our brand fonts, brand colors, then we can quickly access all of that stuff from here. And under templates, this is where we can bring in extra elements or assets in. So if we go to YouTube here, it says make standout YouTube videos using our YouTube intro templates. So you can see here we've got intro cards and things that we can add in. And these are customizable as well. So we can make them our own once they're here in our project. And then to save this out, we can just come up to the top corner here where it says export and we can choose our quality. So on the free plan, you can export up to 1080p. And we can see that's happening here already just from clicking on it. But we can also upload directly to places like Google Drive or YouTube direct from within here too. But if you do want to unlock 4K recording and exporting capabilities, then you will need to jump on the premium plan, which right now is $11.99 US per month. If you're paying monthly, if you switch that to yearly, it's $119.99 but pretty crazy what you're getting access to on the free one and also that it's already built into your computer. But screen recording option number two, the more pro option, my favorite screen recording tool, and actually it's my favorite video production tool out there right now is Descript. Not only is it a screen recorder like Clipchamp, it's also so much more. It is a full on video creation tool, allowing you to record directly into it, to edit, to produce a video. But while Clipchamp had some AI stuff built in, the AI stuff inside of Descript is really next level. And again, this is what I'm using to record this exact video. And it's what I use to record all of our YouTube content and even content inside of our accelerator program as well. I'm now recording, editing, and uploading all within Descript. So similar to Clipchamp, when you open it up, there's a bunch of options here for you. So there's an AI video maker, there's an AI avatar creator here. We can edit a video, we can edit social clips, edit a podcast. There's also the ability to record directly from here too. So if we click on this record, do we want to record our camera or webcam, our screen and camera, just audio? Or there's also the option here to record multiple people, multiple guests all in at once. Think of this like, a Zoom call that you're recording inside of Descript. But again, not just that one flattened video at the end that you can't do anything with. Every speaker actually is recorded individually so you can really customize things up and how it all looks afterwards. In this case here, I'm gonna choose screen. Now I am running the beta version of this right now. So if yours looks a little bit different, they are testing some new interfaces and things. If we come up here to the settings menu down to settings, Scroll to the bottom here where it says labs, and these are some new tests and things, beta tools that you can enable on here. But because we hit record, then we get this little preview here. We can choose our webcam, we can choose our microphone, we can choose which screen or window we want to include. There's also a built-in teleprompter function in here as well, where we can move this up near our webcam and we can read and present directly to camera from here. If we jump over to settings, you can see we can turn on and off things like a countdown timer. We can have it automatically apply their studio sound to so the AI background removal and AI adjustments to make your audio sound awesome. You can have that on all by itself. Whether we wanna have computer sound recording on as well, and then we can choose our camera quality too. You can see right now I've got this set to 4K, even though this one isn't a 4K camera. But then all we need to do is hit record here, and that's going to count us down and start the recording. One, two, one, two, we are doing a test recording here, and I'm gonna press stop. And then it's gonna take a few seconds to process, but it's taking us over here to their editing interface. So straight away, we can see our preview here, just like Clipchamp, these are separate layers. So we could pick my uh, video camera piece here up, we can move it around, we can scale it up and down. There's different shapes and sizes and things that we can make this. We can adjust the crop here, let's center me up. Let's move it over to the side here. But you can see it's also transcribed our text straight away. So we could edit from the timeline down the bottom here as if it was traditional editing software, but we've also got the text. So if I didn't want this one, two, one, two, I could just select it here in our script and I could hit delete or I could hit ignore and it's been removed from our script. So I love that we can actually edit this down from text as if it was a Word document or something really, really quickly. But you've also got the traditional tools here to help you edit as well. 
Now we've got other videos diving into all the AI functionality and stuff in here, which I'll have linked in the description box below. But just to quickly show you, if we go to AI tools, there's functionality here where this will automatically edit your videos for you. It's gonna remove the filler words, the digressions, the blather, and all obvious cuts just with one click. Or we can trigger these separately, remove filler words, remove retakes. We can have it automatically add chapters. We can have it adjust our eye contact. So if I'm looking off camera, it'll bring my eyes back in to make it look like I'm making eye contact with the viewers. There's background removal. There's even an amazing repurposing feature in here where if you upload a longer form video, then it will pull out smaller clips from that for you. And this is something that we use a lot on our channel. Again, I dove deeper into this stuff in other videos if you wanna geek out further on Descript. Now, one thing that I absolutely love about editing and doing screen recordings and stuff inside of Descript is that it's really easy for you to customize things up and have preset templates or layouts, they call them, to switch between stuff. So right now we were just customizing this up, but if we choose layout here, then for example, we've got screen layouts, so screen sharing layouts. If we click on five more, you can see that there's some presets in here where if we click on them, those things are actually going to apply to our scene here. And there are so many in there that you can choose from, but you can also create your own. So if there's a certain look that you like to apply to all of your videos, we can create a template for that and we can have it be applied automatically. And again, really easy to switch between things. But in terms of exporting, if we come up the top here to export, you've got a lot of options as well. We actually have the ability to export from here direct to other editing tools as well if you'd like. So you've got options for like Final Cut, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve. We can also just export the script or just the audio. But if we come to video here, we can either export directly to our computer, directly to YouTube itself. Again, direct upload to Google and a lot of those other places as well. But there's also the ability to create a Descript web link, which is the default setting here, where this will export it and we can send it out, almost like it's a Loom video for someone to review your edits. And again, this is what we use internally here to review our YouTube videos. And so people can leave comments and things all in the one place. But to save it out to your computer, you just hit local export. You choose your quality setting here. Let's go 4K and we just hit export and that would save out. Now, in terms of pricing, there is a few different options. There is a free plan here, but it is limited. It's limited to 720p and watermarks. So I don't really consider that as free. That's probably more of a trial version. So to be able to export without a watermark in decent quality, 1080p watermark free, you'd want to look at the hobbyist plan or up from that is the creator plan where you can export 4K watermark free, all the AI stuff and everything. This is the one that we're using. We're on this creator one. And if we switch this to monthly, you can see the monthly pricing there as well, again, in US dollars. So make sure you check out the description as well. From time to time, we put some promo codes to give you extended trials and those sorts of things as well. There's also a bunch of other resources and templates and things down there to help you even further. And if you wanna geek out further with Descript and you wanna deep dive into some of the AI or some of the amazing editing functionality that I barely scratched the surface on in this video, then check out the videos that are linked on screen and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.